Um, if we take a look uh, at economical situation in Latvia a few years ago, let's say 2005, 2006, there were a lot of industries that were growing really rapidly. Basically, we could say that the whole economical field was growing. However, for many companies, you would really see it as a beneficial thing to do, to grow something positive. Whereas there are some industries for whom it might not be such a good signal and there could be a possible threat. As one such industry can be see gambling business. Good numbers, good figures, many new locations open brought a fire to gambling industry when it started growing in year 2005 in Latvia. Um, well, it's sort of understandable if we take into account that I can't imagine a single country in the world where there would be no people that would have something against this industry. And generally, it is not taken as something too positive. So this was the threat we were uh, facing. Uh, and um, moreover, uh, this fire was not only from general public and media, but also politicians, for whom it was a good uh, platform uh, to fight publicly uh, and maybe um, hide away things they couldn't cope with, uh, some general problems that they could not solve easily. So they could show their good deeds uh, and good things they've done for the society uh, using gambling business. You might ask how it happened. Well, basically, what um, went on for approximately 10 years, almost every year, there were amendments to the law governing gambling business. Sometimes these amendments were made for really uh, good purposes and for bringing some system in order in the industry. So far, so good. But there were also some decisions that were plainly political and, as I said, used for having the good news to spread around the society, which might not be too happy about what's going on. In the last amendments, there was a new uh, rule that said that local governments has now new rights. What they could do, they could stop operation of a gambling location in their region. So they had the right to close down a place of gambling if they could prove it's harm to the society. Taking that into account, Latvian Gambling Business Association, uh, which uh, for, uh, gathers the biggest players in this market, uh, with, I think, total share of 87% market share, they understood that what they need is some trust in the future that there's not going to come a time when their business would be simply locked out of the reality in this country. So what they needed, basically, was some stability, so they knew what happens in the future, and some predictability. And they also understood that it's not a way you can simply start con controlling things. What you really have to do is, first of all, put a full stop to the silence that was from this industry. Generally, in society, it was seen as, uh, still, still nowadays, seen as something, some kind of business operated by criminals. Nobody knew who the owners are of the companies. Nobody really knew the money amounts in this company that were flowing through. Uh, and on one hand, it's also the industry to blame, because there was no proactive communication regarding the industry, even the positive or maybe sometimes negative news. So what they understood, they have to open the doors. And opening the doors means two-way communication and two-way activities. First of all, you're inviting in. You're inviting people in to see what you are doing uh, and letting them access maybe some information that wasn't previously available. On the other hand, it's also opening the doors to step outside, which means being ready for a dialogue. So basically, this opening of the doors meant uh, getting transparency on this industry, which was really seen as a sort of like a dark cloud and nobody really knew what's going on inside. On the other hand, it was also the part with engagement, being ready to listen to the problems and issues in the society and also trying to give some kind of answer. Because also for, uh, for organizations, companies united in this association, it is no secret that, for example, gambling addiction is a huge problem in Latvian society as well. So what, what we understood we have to do and help this association to do uh, is to implement a sort of program which started in year 2007 when the, these amendments of the law were made which uh, uh, had the new rule 
for local governments uh, and to manage many uh, sort of aspects of their operation and communication process. So first of all, we had to evaluate the risks. And in this uh, specific program, the main risk was the local government uh, representatives might use the new rule that they are allowed to close a gambling location, which of course none of the uh, members of the association and overall of the industry would be very happy about. Therefore, uh, we made a thorough research on the stakeholders. And for those who are familiar with this um, um, concept, usually probably get the question, OK, anyone on the universe can be your stakeholders. In this case, we really narrowed and prioritized the stakeholders. And we chose, basically, politicians, both national and local government level, as the top priority people to talk with, as well as uh, employer, employees of uh, city councils as well as NGOs that are connected or might be connected with this industry or had a, had a stake in it. Of course, we had also secondary stakeholders that included uh, general public media and some other organizations. But basically, this was mostly, oh my god, am I talking so slowly? <laughs> OK, so, so uh, it was mostly politicians. And what was their main issue that uh, governed their life? There was a certain pressure from the society uh, that this is not the best industry around. On the other hand, what they needed are some good deeds or some good news to give uh, instead of the good news we're changing the law again. Therefore, we used a set of different tools. I'm not going to go into details. But first of all, what we understand for having a dialogue and also transparency, it needed to be direct communication. Therefore. The most important tools were one-on-one -on -one meetings with politicians, uh, also uh, organization of regional roundtable discussions that were held in uh, biggest um, regional cities. And there were open discussions also for public and media where they could participate and bring up issues. Some of them were very positive. Some of them were really critical and problematic, but they brought up many new issues to consider. As well, there was uh, one specific solution and it was for the first time in this industry there was an annual report published uh, it, now now we have already the second uh, report published and it for the first time gave numbers and faces of the industry and real information what's going on there uh, as for the results the thing that we could say yes we did were some um, side things as the good deeds for the politicians. These regional discussions brought up many problem issues uh, for the local society. For example, gambling addiction. There was a new uh, gambling addiction cure center or crisis center established with the support of association in Daugopils. It was opened this year in February with uh, additional funding. As well, uh, there were um, CCTV cameras that were in front of, uh, I think it was Valmier, uh, uh, these gambling locations. They were united in the whole, like a circuit of police uh, CCTV system, so they could monitor what's going on in the city better and prevent crime. Uh, there were also um, some other uh, sort of uh, development of the program, because in these uh, regional discussions and one-on-one -on -one meetings appeared a new problem that most of the uh, local uh, government employees, especially social workers, don't have the ability to get uh, adequate education on gambling addiction issues and problems. Therefore, this year we are uh, continuing this program organizing seminars in regional cities with the participation of a practicing doctor, medicine doctor, um, that can explain and give more knowledge. And very rarely, uh, talking about projects, you would state results saying no. This case is different because what we can say, the biggest achievement of the whole program that lasted for two years was that there was not a single local government that even thought of uh, cho choosing to use this new rule. So no, uh, no gambling location was closed. And the second thing was that due to uh, really thorough political monitoring and these meetings regularly, also no amendments to the law have been made in the last two years. Thank you.